Welcome back. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. And here to tell us more about an upcoming STEM night are the folks from the Science Club at Solomon Plains. Everyone, welcome. We've got such a crew here. I'm so happy that you guys are here. I'm going to start things off with Mrs. Engel. Tell me about the STEM Club, how this kind of took off. And obviously, we've got a big showing here for the PA Live segment, so I know you guys have the numbers. Yes, we do. Um, we have quite a bit in our Science Club um, at Solomon Plains. We have about 50 50 students right now. Um, wow. We do, uh, ranging from 6th grade to 8th grade. Uh, we meet once a month, um, and we encourage science, obviously. Yeah. Um, we want the kids to develop critical thinking, um, have knowledge of the different uh, sciences that are out there. Mm -hmm. um, we do a lot of hands-on activities and we just make fun science fun. Yeah. Um, and I think we're doing a good job. Are fun? we doing a good job? Okay. <laughs> doing great. Let me hop down to Miss Hopkins here. Tell me about the STEM night that's coming up and how we can get involved. Yes, so STEM night is on February 1st, and it is at Solomon Middle School. So mm -hmm. any student who wants to attend could come to the school cafeteria, and um, it, the event goes from 6 until 8 o'clock that night. So we're really excited about it. We hope that, you know, all of the students and their families do attend. Yeah, and I think mm -hmm. it's cool to see, like, the theme among schools in our area to take STEM very seriously and get our young people involved from an early age. So I'm going to hop down to you. What is your name? Uh, Daria. Daria, why is it so exciting for you to be a part of the STEM club, specifically a woman in STEM? It's very important. Uh, I feel like it's really fun because there's a lot of fun activities to do and like a lot of experiments that are really fun to do yeah. with others. Do you have a particular favorite experiment that you've done? Uh, I like the one where we filled a plastic bag with water and just kind of stab pencils through it to oh see how many pencils we can stick through it. Without any water falling out? Yeah, we got mm -hmm. 32. Oh, oh what? How big was this bag? <laughs> Not that big. Wow! <laughs> See the fun we have at STEM Club. My mother would have never let me waste a, uh, a plastic bag. <laughs> well, there's no holes in it. <laughs> well, you know what? I wish there was something like this. Do you know, guys, I am a product of Solomon Plains. Mm -hmm. I was there in fifth and sixth grade. I don't believe, I mean, STEM and then that whole thing, like that movement did not happen <laughs> when I was there back in like 2001. But it's so neat that you guys get to now enjoy it. Yeah, what's your first name? My name is Leah. Leah, so tell me about maybe the, the camaraderie among the group. It seems like you guys are all very close friends and it's nice to watch you just here. So tell me how STEM Club kind of helped that happen. Um, I just feel like with the experiments that we've done together, we've more become friends closer together and Casey and Daria are both my friends already, mm -hmm. but it's nice to ha be friends with 6th and 7th graders as yeah, well. Yeah, we're going to get to them just in a little bit, but I love seeing that. So Casey, tell me more maybe about how, why you got involved in the first place. I got involved because of my friends. Mm -hmm. We all just decided that it would be a great idea to get into something after school, and science is something that we all really like, so that's why we all joined. Yeah. How, how is it being in a, in a club like this where you are mingling with the younger the younger kids at your mm -hmm. school because you're kind of a, like a role model and mentor Huge probably to them. Yes. I think that it gives them a good, um, you know, role model, yeah. obviously, but it shows them what they are going to end up working towards and what they should be looking for. Already seeing that next step and having someone to look up to and having someone to kind of look out for you in the halls too, that's always important also. What's your name? Um, my name is Justin. Justin, so how, what is it like working with the older ladies? Um, it's fun doing experience. Yeah, yeah, experiments. Experiments with uh, older people. Yeah, because you know. your classes, you don't really get to do experiments with the older classes, mm -hmm. but this kind of helps everyone get to know each other a little better. Mm -hmm. It definitely does because they could just mentor the kids that don't know exactly what we're talking about with the experiments. Exactly. So it helps the kids better understand what signs we're doing. Yeah, and what great experience for you to have going on. Can we believe how good and well-spoken these 8th <laughs> and 6th graders are? Here, scooch down for me. Oh, I, 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 I shouldn't be shocked because like everyone is like so smart here in the valley, <laughs> but like it's like so refreshing. So nice. What's your name? <laughs> My name's Amy. Zayden. Zayden. So what's it like maybe for you to think about in the future? You're in sixth grade right now, right? Yeah. Okay, so when you see yourself as an eighth grader, do you think you're going to step into like the role model role that you see these ladies doing? Uh, yeah, I think so. Science is one of my favorite subjects. So is math, and if yeah. you put them together, it's STEM. You got STEM. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Why do you think you are drawn to science and math STEM so much? Because I feel like because science is basically everything around us, to yeah. atoms, to 
earth science to plants. Yeah. So everything, every, it's everything around us. To get to understand it makes right. it all the more fun. Right. Very cool. What would you say to someone who maybe doesn't love their science class right now and needs a little boost of encouragement? To keep try, keep trying. Yeah. It, you're you're going to like it. It's there's so much there's so much cool things that you're going to learn uh over yeah. the, over the course of your life it's going to be be open to it yeah. i love that great I, advice i love that what well let's segment. get one more recap of give us all the details on how we can come to the stem night stem night is february 1st in at salmon plains middle school in the cafeteria it starts at 6 p.m it runs to 8 p.m and anyone, uh, any student or family member of a Solomon Plains uh, student is welcome to attend. And, and it's absolutely free. Volunteers, and right? Yes, and we're also looking for any uh, volunteers who would like to come and have a table at our event and uh, do a demonstration. Real quick, because I know that they love being in a TV studio. Zayna, do your brother and sister want to come real quick so you can wave on camera? Come here. Do you guys want to go? Yeah, give it a quick wave. Now they're being shy. What they're are, coming, they're, they're coming. Come, uh, real, real, real quick. Tell Big a, wave. Tell us what your name is. My name's Jenna. Jenna, nice to meet you. What grade are you in? I'm in kindergarten. Wow, and how about you? Taha. And what grade are you in? How old are you? Uh, four. Four. Are you oh, twins? Actually, five. Oh, uh, <laughs> breaking news on the news right here. And are you guys going to be excited to learn science when you're a little bit older? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Well, maybe you guys can go to STEM night, okay, on February 1st? There's all the Amazing. information on your screen. Guys, we so appreciate everybody coming. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Absolutely. Having us. You all stick around at home. More with PA Live when we return.